Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to create realistic paths with SketchUp for Lumion. So, for the first path, you of course need a landscape. We can do that with the terrain option. You can just put in the grid. I will suggest to have half a meter one. Then it was 10 meters across and 20 meters in length. Uh, use the, the snoop smooth option of course in SketchUp. And then you can change and create this landscape. So after you have your own landscape, all landscape is not perfectly flat. So if you have a landscape, it has some height to it. And we want a path over here. So the simplest way to put a path over here is by create a plane. And this plane is the same length and width as our landscape, but it's a little bit higher. And we first going to have our outlines on a 2D plane of our path. So let's create a simple path. And to make this work, we need to have it a little bit larger. So we have a plane right now. First, let's duplicate this. Let's select this one and smooth it out. And then we go over here to the drape. First, it wants to select our object and then the landscape. And now we have over here our path because now we can go to the materials, go to the gravel, gravel path. We're going to use the Lumion brick just by creating two sub layers of the same mesh. And then we can go to and let's put some grass on top of this. And now we're going to put on the path. We are not going to put grass and on the sides we're going to put grass. So now if we put this into Lumion, you will see that there is grass on the side and there is the path in the middle. After we imported our little first path, we can go to the materials, select the ground cover, and we can of course change this one, for example like this one, or sand one, or it depends of course of your project. I will go with the sand one, this one, and then we can, as you can see, try to select the grass material, and then we can change this to any grass you like, for example like this one, but as you can see, it looks really good, but it's has this edge to it so the grass just straight stops it cuts off it's not really realistic even though the, it looks great it still doesn't feel right so that's why we go now over to sketchup and create a, a more advanced path so for the second path it's a little bit more advanced and it's going to be a path that has it not that sharp edge on the side. We're going to do the same as we did first path, but we need, we need a smaller path. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select part and we're just going to make it a little bit smaller. So like this, and then we're going to put it somewhere on our landscape, like so. To do this, we need a second layer first. We're going to smooth this second layer again, and then we're going to do the same as we did with the last one. So now we only have the path, but with the same outline, but also with the shape of the landscape. If you want, let's create another one. Let's put it a little bit lower. And then we need the, another option, uh, the stamp. And for this stamp, we need half a meter of offset. We're gonna select the path, and we're gonna select the landscape afterwards. And now it's gonna generate path that has the same height and the same shape of the path that we just created and now we can put it somewhere a little bit lower so there won't be grass in the middle and there will be grass on the sides that's getting lower so let's put it a little bit well let's put it a decent amount of lower like so we're going to put this one a little bit lower it's going to be our grass layer and this is going to be our gravel layer and then we have our more advanced grass layer first we're going to add some materials of course so gravel over here and there and as you put this into lumion you will see that the grass will slowly into the ground so it has a more natural look but now we have imported our second path or more advanced one we can add some materials to this one as well for the ground, of course, we go with the same that we did with the first one. So we go with the sand. And then we can select the grass again. As you can see, it has some a hard edge. And you can see also that there is still grass coming through. And that's fine. You can tweak uh, with the height. For example, you can lower this part. You can even select a smaller portion and lower it as well. But we can also just change the grass, for example, the length. So we can 
change the length a little bit, the size, the length, and of course the curliness and the bending force and gravity. So it blends more in into the layers. And now you have a little bit more natural feeling depth where the grass goes into the ground and has this smooth transition from the path to the nature and the grass. And for the next path, the more the even more advanced one, we're going to add a trail, two trails that you sometimes see, or roads, and that has grass in the middle. And so now for the last one, that's going to be the more advanced one. And I have only used this method once um, in my realistic forest scene. This is going to be a little bit different because we want those track rails. Trails that you see through the, through the landscape having two separate uh, two separate trails with grass in the middle. So we're going to try to recreate that doing the, uh, the same steps that we did with the last one. And we're going to do that uh, right now. We're going to have our path and our path will be around here for example and now we're going to do the same things that we just did in the last one and for this one we need we need two separate planes for the pen we need a bigger one and a smaller one so let's get the smaller one as well let's select this one make a group this one make a group and then explode both of them so we have separate paths for the first one we have duplicated the our landscape again and then we will go to smooth it out and then and yet again we're going to use the trape option first the trace of the path and then we're gonna select the terrain path layout we're gonna make this a group select this part select this part remove this make another one to so always have a backup then again and i'm going to give this 300 stamp again select 300 perfect select the terrain and let's lower this and let's give it uh, let's give it a decent something like this and now we need to do the same thing over here so selecting edges over here and then put it a little make it a little bit smaller so 200 it's better and I put it back into the middle so after we make this a little bit more smaller we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did to the other path So we have our middle path that's going to be the grass inside of the middle of the road for that we need to use the stamp option again select this path 200 put it the offset to 200 and then select the terrain again and then put it almost on the same height as the edges we can hide this so now i want to copy this landscape over here and what i like to do with the this is going to be our dirt layer and our dirt layers needs to be have a little bit more of an edge to it so we know where the path is going going back to the stamp selecting the bigger edge give it an offset of yeah 200 is fine and then select our dirt layer and then just give it a little offset perfect and we can select and have the second layer lower so we can add more grass variation and now we're going to add the grass layer of the, the dirt layer and then we're going to add two layers of grass and this is the more advanced way to create a path with a trail so now we can go into luminant and see how everything looks so for the last one we go to the materials and we do the exact same thing we go to the dirt and we're going to select the sand one and then after that we can change our grasses so let's go with a wild one as you can see it's a little bit bigger side change that by dirtiness and the gravity force having the length way smaller this or the size and you can have the length you can play with a little bit something like this and then we're going to copy this material and we have a second layer over here where we can paste this one it is also a trick that i use we can change the rotation of this one as well something like this and then we're just going to change the texture you can i like to make it a little bit more yellowy we have some color variation in the grass itself let's go rotation so now you have a more realistic grass layer and you can add of course every natural detail that you need uh, some flowers etc etc but this is in the base is the base of a landscape and of a trail that you can create just using sketchup and it's really easy you just have to know how to do it
but that's it for all the paths of course you can customize everything with plants grasses or trees but this is the way how i do it for my projects so hopefully you learned something new if you enjoyed the video leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more of my videos and hopefully i see you guys in the next video bye